welcome back you guys. Quick video here, wanted to kind of just show you how to take um, the upper slide off the gun, take the barrel out, take those parts out. We get that question asked a lot whether or not uh, our customers are kind of like, hey, should we ship it in with the, uh, the internal components in the slides now? Uh, send it with your parts in it, we'll do all the disassembly for you. It really doesn't take all that long, so we're not too worried about it. We do want to walk you guys through that process in the event that it's something that you guys want to do. Um, so the idea behind it right now is that we're just going to kind of take you through that in case you do decide that you want to keep the parts yourself. Uh, but once again, you can send the slides in fully assembled and we'll take them out. We're going to go through the process of stripping the entire slide down and putting it back together so you guys can see all those steps. My recommendation is to use something like a punch uh, to remove the firing pin and to put the rear cap back on. It's a little bit easier. You can use something like a pen if that's what you have at home. Uh, you might lose maybe a, just a second or two doing it, but it's a pretty quick process when you use the punch. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and take off the, uh, the thread protector. It's going to just kind of simplify that process a little bit better since the barrel doesn't slide out through the frame. So, All right, guys, so let's go ahead and start this process. We're going to do a disassembly of the entire slide and a reassembly of the slide, and then hopefully that'll just kind of educate you guys a little bit better. All right, so what we're going to first do is we're going to pull this back, pull this off. We're going to go ahead and pull the spring out the barrel out. That's going to come right out. We're going to use this. What we're going to do is we're going to push this plunger in. That's going to pull that out. That's going to come out like that. We're going to go ahead and drop out the extractor, okay, your plunger right here. Pretty much that's all your parts. At that point, you can go ahead and do a reassembly. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this back in here just like this. We're going to go ahead and put the extractor back in. Usually it doesn't give you a problem, but it could. We're going to go ahead and do the plunger rod right here. Make sure you put that in the right way. If you don't, you're going to have an issue. So we're going to go ahead and put this back in just like this. We're going to go ahead and do your firing pin control. All that stays together. Then at that point in time, we're just going to do the rear cap. This is an upgraded rear cap, so there's a possibility that it's not going to go in quite as nice as the other ones. Basically, you're just going to push this in, push this in like that, push this in like that. You're done. We're going to slip that barrel back in at that time. Put your guide rod spring back in. You can go ahead and slide that right back on your frame just like this. And we're done. Now, at that point, you just put that back on. Oh, man, I'm kind of a little slow doing that. I think it's time for me to drink a monster. I'm just kind of losing my touch today. 